Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you. Um, I love that kind of welcome. Um, my name is Corey Sharp. I'm the director here at Purdue Polytechnic Institute in, in Anderson, Indiana. And it's great to see such a great turnout uh, for our cohort six AMP graduation. This has been a fantastic group to work with. I got to know some of you uh, throughout the week and or the last couple of weeks uh, through some of the interviews. And uh, I'm really proud of all the things that you guys have accomplished over the last 20 days. Um, these days could not be possible without uh, the team that makes this happen. And it really truly is a team, uh, starting with Mark uh, and his uh, efforts to go out in the community uh, to recruit students, uh, to recruit employers, uh, and to help lead this effort. Uh, it's also with the team here at Purdue University and also with the Center for Employee Development. Um, and specifically, so I want to use this opportunity to thank them. So if uh, Faye, Lori, and Steve, if you could stand, I want to give them a round of applause. <laughs> for all of their effort um, in making this program work and providing a high quality uh, experience for the students. Um, AMP is, is one of the most special programs that I've ever been a part of, and that's that says a lot. I've been in higher education for over 25 years, and this is truly one of the most special programs I've ever been a part of. I've seen the impact of this program on the lives of the students, uh, the impact on the employers. It, it cannot be overstated. This program is a truly a success for the city of Anderson, and it's really because of Mayor Broderick and his leadership, and also the Board of Works, uh, Mr. Ikes, uh, the board, really stepping up to wanting to fund this program, as well as Job Source coming on board, um, Doug Eckerty uh, helping uh, with some additional funding. So with that, I wanna hand it over to Mark Slayton. All you know that all the students know Mark really well, and uh, he's gonna be the MC today, but I just wanted to welcome everybody out here to Purdue Polytechnic Anderson, Boiler Up, and uh, good luck after today. Thank you, Corey. Uh, trainees, you're soon going to become graduates. This has been a very dynamic four weeks. Um, I've met you sometime in the past. We've had many conversations. I've got to know you personally. I've watched you grow and develop during this four weeks. You are our best cohort to date. This is the beauty of AMP is it continually grows, each, each class becomes better. And that's because students and graduates refer people. They know what it takes. And I've asked you each to help us find the quality individuals that need a career. I want to bring up the man who makes this all possible. Without his vision, this program would not exist. Mayor Broderick instituted this program in 2018, we began planning, and here we are today, cohort number six. Mayor? Well, thank you, Mark. Good morning, everyone. Uh, nice words, I appreciate that. Uh, though, what, as uh, was said a moment ago by uh, Corey, the reality is that it takes a team effort. Uh, a lot of folks came together to, to make this work. It is true, back in 2018, we started having discussions about what we might be able to do to try to uh, recognize and identify folks uh, such as yourselves who were uh, looking for some job opportunities that you just couldn't quite get your hands around at that time. At the same time, we knew by working with uh, many of our new manufacturing companies that were coming into town and other economic partners that they were looking uh, for some employees that uh, needed some skills that they couldn't quite put their hands on. And so we started working on a, a program to try to figure out what we could do to, to bring folks together uh, to make uh, this a reality. And I just want to again thank Purdue Polytechnic and Corey and all of his team and all the folks sitting here, as well as all the other partners, the employee partners that we have here in the community. Uh, if it wasn't for them, there wouldn't be a place for you guys to go interview. There wouldn't be a place to, to go get these jobs. So uh, as I've told folks in the past, uh, as we go out in our economic development department and Greg Winkler, who's here, and Mark Slayton, who's part of that as well, uh, when we go out and, and talk to uh, employers uh, that are looking at Anderson as a place to come, uh, one of the things they want to know is what kind of workforce do we have? And we know, uh, having lived here in Anderson, uh, most of us for many years, we know that Anderson's always been an innovative community. 
It's been a community that's always been able to have a, a very good, skilled, qualified workforce. And uh, we thought there was no reason to believe that that didn't still exist. It just needed a little uh, extra push, if you will. And so in working together with all these different entities, we were able to put together this program. And as you know, and I'm sure Mark has explained to you, uh, this, this program has evolved. You are the sixth graduating class. And I just want to say congratulations, because I know how hard you've worked to, to be here. It's really quite an achievement. Uh, as I've told folks uh, in the past, though, this isn't the end. This is the beginning. You need to continue on both in, in working with your new employers as you acquire those employers, but at the same time, you need to continue with regards to your education and, and your learning and growing in order that you can continue to expand beyond even where you are uh, here today. So again, on behalf of the city of Anderson, let me congratulate you. Let me thank everybody that's here, all family and friends uh, that have come. Again, thank all of our partners um, that are here. And uh, we're going to continue to carry this program on. Uh, again, this is our sixth graduation. I do want to remind you, just as, as Mark did a moment ago, Please let your friends know, uh, let your family members know, uh, maybe your neighbor, somebody that you think uh, could benefit by the training that you've received. Uh, let them know about this because we continue to look for folks. Obviously right now unemployment is at some of its uh, historic lows, around 3.1 or so percent. Uh, but at the same time, there are folks out there that are still either looking for better jobs or looking for jobs at all. And so we want to identify those folks and make sure that uh, they have the opportunities that you're going to have here. So again, congratulations. Thank you for being here and look forward to the rest of the program. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I, I want to share something that I received this morning. Um, this was a gift from one of our students. Um, most of you may not have a clue of what this is, but you students, you actually know what this is. This is actually in our work conditioning area. This is a board where we work on dexterity training. They have spent countless minutes upon minutes utilizing these simple pieces of equipment that helps their dexterity and will benefit them when they go on to the job. I also want to pay a special recognition and thank you to Second Harvest Food Bank. They came on board this cohort. Um, we always were trying to raise our stipend, but funding is an issue. We didn't have enough money to raise your stipend. But we began talking with Tim Keen and Second Harvest, and we came up with a plan. If we could offset your food costs, we actually gave you a raise in a stipend. The looks on your faces when you would take your groceries home was priceless. I'll never forget it. I want to thank you guys for doing a job well done. Um, a couple of you have asked if you could share some words. I will, I'd be more than happy to have you come up. Um, right now I want Laura to come up. She's asked if she could share a couple of words of thanks. So Laura. Hi, everybody. Um, I just want to thank everybody here, especially the mayor, for giving us a chance at this. Um, this has been an amazing experience, and I hope that a lot of other individuals get to go through this. And I want to thank my classmates for being here with me and us growing together. That's all I got. <laughs> Chastity, would you like to share a few words? I don't want to mess your thing up. Good morning. Mayor Broderick, thank you so much. This has been an overwhelming experience for all of us. The diversities, the different types of people that we've had to work with, the teamwork that we've had to, to build and do together has been there's no words to express our thanks and gratitude. The certifications are only going to help us grow. Um, as we learned yesterday, we're not Jeopardy worthy, Steve. <laughs> Definitely not Jeopardy worthy. But we have learned a lot throughout this process, and I hope that it does nothing but get bigger from here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chastity. Thank you, Laura. 
you have gained four certifications right now, and you have the opportunity to finish your fifth. I will explain that in detail when we meet privately. You have now gained the OSHA 10 certification. We're halfway through our CPR training. You have the National Career Readiness Certificate. Uh, what am I forgetting? Uh, you have the Purdue Advanced Manufacturing Certification. And, oh, of course, forklift certification. You've gained five certs in four weeks. These are treasured. These, are, these save the employers countless hours and costs. And through cooperation, we were able to provide these certifications at very low cost or no cost at all. This is where AMP has grown to become a true community-involved program. So it's time to get the certifica certifications in your hands. I'm going to bring up Laura and Faye, Steve. You guys have done an excellent job. Thank you so much. All right, it's time. Congratulations again to all of you. Uh, best wishes. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to contact us. Um, references or help or more training or anything we can do. We wish you all the best after today and thank you for making the, this last month really fun and exciting and engaging. So let's do this. Edward Braxton. Verbal Brown. Actually, Steve will get to you. Laura Cagle. Brian Chamberlain. <laughs> Nicholas Chandler. Janet Dawson. <laughs> Teresa Dowdy. Richard Gettinger. Robert Goolsby. Timothy Hendrickson. <laughs> J. 
Jamie Johnson. Nicholas Johnson. <laughs> Michael Jones. Azure McCullough. <laughs> Amy Mitchell. Victoria Moore. Your book. <laughs> Leslie Nagel. Christina Rodriguez Anderson. <laughs> Misty Sourwine. Sam Sego. <laughs> Chastity Schrock. Matthew Warmke. <laughs> and finally, Corey Wilhoy. Team, 
Thank you. I cannot thank you enough. Mayor, thank you again, sir. Corey, thank you. Guys, you've made it. We're going to meet when we finish, so don't run off. But I want to bring attention to the class that one third of our class were single parents. And this is, uh, you have a special place in my heart for single parents. We've endured some tests, I'll leave it at that. And we've worked with each other. We bent, but we didn't break. So congratulations. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.